Are you someone who struggled to pass the MRCP part 1 exam in your first attempt? You are not alone in this. MRCP part 1 is a difficult exam to pass. And if you look at the statistics of the exam, then the pass rate is something around 45 to 50 percent for each of the attempts. Now, I teach for MRCP course and unfortunately, we do have students who could not clear the part one exam in their first attempt. In this video, I will try to cover the important reasons why a doctor will fail the MRCP part one exam despite good preparation over three to six months period. If you were someone who also unfortunately faced failure in this part one exam, then this video is for you. MRCP or membership of Royal College of Physicians UK is a well known exam all around the world. This exam has three parts. Part one, which is MCQ or written exam. Part two, theory, which is again a written exam. And PACES exam, which is a practical exam. To start your MRCP journey, for most of us, the first step will be the MRCP part one exam. Now, this MRCP part one exam is pitched to a doctor who has completed 12 month postgraduate experience after their primary medical qualification or MBBS for majority of us. There is a misconception that if you are a junior doctor who's completed your MBBS, then MRCP is the best thing for you and you can just appear for the exam, pass all the exam and become a medical consultant. It's not so easy and this is a misconception rather than the reality of the scenario. What most people don't consider is that MRCP part one itself has no value. So MRCP part one is just one part of a three part exam. So just passing part one doesn't make you anything. And having just part one without having the whole MRCP diploma makes no sense because it is not going to be an additional qualification with your name. So you need to prepare and you need to have a strategy so that you will be able to pass all the three steps of the exam rather than just part one exam. Whenever I teach my students, I always make it a point to make them start planning for a strategy so that they're able to clear all the parts of MRCP exam and not just pass part one exam. Now coming back to the reason why people fail part one exam. As I have already said, part one exam is a MCQ based exam. There will be two papers, 100 questions each. Each of the paper is for three hour duration. And once you reach a minimum number of correct questions in this two paper exam, then you will pass the exam. So this is a pass fail exam rather than a competitive score based exam. Whereas your high scores in MRCP part one exam will not really serve you any purpose. So as long as you get a pass mark, that is good enough for your career and for your future career as well. Aspiring candidates often encounter several challenges and understanding of these pitfalls is crucial for better preparation of the part one exam. The first reason why candidates fail the exam is inadequate preparation. Lack of thorough study and revision can lead to poor performance in the exam. And this is, in my opinion, one of the commonest reason why people fail the part one exam. Candidates may underestimate the breadth and the depth of the syllabus or they may not even know the exact syllabus based on which the MRCP part one exam is designed. I usually highlight the IEMT or internal medicine training curriculum 
during my talks for our courses so that the candidates actually get an idea about the syllabus on which the exam is based. So how are you going to overcome this problem of inadequate preparation? Create a structured study plan. If you are struggling to do this on your own, then you can join some of the courses. For example, in Study MRCP, we run a three months or a six weeks course. We usually advise three to six months for complete preparation of part one exam. So if you are starting from scratch, then you can go for a three to six months course. And this will cover the whole MRCP syllabus in due course. However, if you have already done some form of a studying and you are going for a repeat attempt of your MRCP exam, then going for a six weeks course for a rapid revision is a reasonable option. Allocate time for each topic and revise consistently. Now, we all have certain topics where we are not very strong. Our understanding is not very strong. So it's reasonable to use more and more questions as well as spend more time on studying those particular topics. This is a perfectly reasonable strategy and I would recommend everybody who is going for repeat attempts for part one exam to try this kind of a preparation method. Spend more time on your topics where you feel that you are weak and in other topics just go through the questions and don't spend too much time. Use reliable resources like MRCP textbooks and question banks and spend more time on solving questions rather than reading the textbooks. The second reason that I often feel is one of the reasons for failure of part one exam is lots of distractions and lack of focus. Distraction during study session can hinder effective learning and candidates may struggle to maintain a concentration throughout their preparation period. Now, this is a common knowledge that nowadays because of social media, our attention span has gone down significantly. There was a study which has shown that the attention span of Gen Z individuals are less than that of a goldfish, that is around eight seconds. And this is really difficult process to use this kind of attention span to study for exam like MRCP or any other exam. So you need to figure out ways and devise strategies of studying which will help you retain more and more information despite having lots of opportunities for getting distracted. So the solution for lack of focus is designate a quiet study space without any form of distraction like the phone or TV, minimize interruption during your studies, use techniques like Pomodoro technique where you study for 20, 25 minutes and then get a break of five minutes. And also practice active learning techniques like using flashcard, summarizing, or better, if you are able to study in a group, then you can teach your friends. So this kind of active process will help you learn and retain a lot more information. The third point is time management issues. MRCP part one is a time bound exam with large number of questions. So sometimes, despite doing a good preparation while we're in the exam hall, we may not get enough time to solve all the questions. Important point to remember is that part one exam doesn't have negative marking. So you should mark all the questions and I would recommend divide your exam this three hour period in a way so that you get enough time to read and analyze all the questions. There is no point spending too much time on one particular question and then running out of time so that you miss maybe another five questions at the end. So time management during the exam is a very, very important process. And poor time management can result in incomplete sections or questions during your actual examination. So what is the solution of time management problem? Practice solving questions under timed conditions, or in other words, practice doing mock exams and learn to allocate times wisely for each of the questions. 
for example if you were doing a hundred question in three hour so at one and a half hour you should be completing 50 questions so always have this kind of small small time frames during the exam so that you can track your progress and don't get lost in the tense environment of the exam the fourth point that i often see is misunderstanding of the exam structure and syllabus some candidates may not fully grasp the format of mrcp part one exam they might focus on irrelevant topics or neglect essential areas during the exam preparation so the solution for this kind of problem is familiarize yourself with the exam pattern it is an mcq exam remember so don't spend too much time on going into unnecessary detail about each and every topic and the syllabus should cover all the important aspect of internal medicine training curriculum of the uk the syllabus is available on the imt website you can go through it and always prioritize high yield topics for the mrcp exam the fifth point that i often see the reason for failure of exam is ignoring self-assessment and feedback candidates often skip self-assessment tools like mock exam or even doing short exams let's say you take 20 questions every day and solve them in our mrcp course we usually do something called daily activity where we send out five to ten questions every day throughout the duration of our courses so that the candidate can keep solving questions and this gives them a habit of solving questions every day so that when they go for the exam they are already in a mode of solving questions and solving mcqs so the solution to this kind of lack of self-assessment is again doing lots of questions appearing for mock exams and analyze your mistakes and learn from them because there will be certain topics for example let's say cardiology or arrhythmias where you might struggle to answer the right questions so spend more time on those topics on those questions so that in the actual exam you can get your correct answer in your first attempt remember success in mrcp part one requires not only knowledge but also effective study strategy you should be aware of the kind of study strategies that gives you the maximum benefit some of us can learn from audiovisual modes of teaching some of us can learn better from podcast some of us can learn better from a live interactive session so whichever courses or whichever method of study that you are using always make sure that you are learning in the best method which helps you rather than everyone else stay focused manage your time well and aim for a comprehensive understanding of the exam content i would like to end this video by giving you some tips and strategies for retaking the mrcb part one exam number one create a study plan allocate time for each topic in the syllabus including the topics that you are weak at number two focus on weak areas identify challenging topics and allocate extra time for revision of those particular topics number three use active learning techniques like flashcard mind maps and mnemonic devices number four is practice with mock exams and simulate exam condition and track your own progress throughout the preparation period and the fifth point is manage your own exam anxiety deep breathing and positive self-talk goes a long way in helping with your anxiety for the exam there are many study resources for the mrcb part one exam but you should keep things very simple all you need is a loss of practice of questions and you need a textbook so that you can go back to it and revise the topics that you are not very confident or you are making regular mistakes during your question bank solving so as long as you have this then you don't need a lot of resources for part one exam of course some people will need some added guidance and some people would prefer some interactive live sessions 
In that cases, you can think of attending some courses. I have provided the details of our study MRCP courses in the description box below. If you are interested, please go and check them out. We have had really good feedback for our courses and I'm sure this will help you pass your MRCP exam if you are struggling to do the same. Thank you for watching this video. All the best for your upcoming exam.